So now that we have our hole made, remember in our last video we stuck our popsicle stick in straight into the mouthpiece this way. We made a good 45 degree angle here for the blow piece. Okay, and now we're going to take it out and it should work. We tested it already in the last video. And this is what it should look like on the inside. You should have a nice clear passage there. Now you're going to connect these two pieces together. And to do that, you're going to take your popsicle stick and you're going to do what's called scoring. You're going to score these edges, which a score to score means just to cut it. Okay, not like scoring in in soccer or something, but scoring like that. And then you're going to take some slip, which is just Here's a little slip container. It's just like watered down clay. And you're just going to take some of that slip and you're going to smear it on top. Um, I, I like to use the popsicle stick. I actually sometimes like to use my fingers too. And just smear it on top. Okay. Then you're going to let that sit for a minute while you do the other side. So I'm going to move that one aside. And here's the other side. And put your slip on that. I'm just going to use my fingers. Okay, and then you're going to stick these two pieces together and kind of gently rock them back and forth. Okay, and try to make them so that they're about the same size. And then use your fingers to just gently push back and forth. And you should be pushing back and forth over this seam so that you don't see a seam anymore. Okay, and if you need to you can get some extra watery clay or some extra little chunks of clay like this and stick them into the into the ridge, whichever works best. Um, but you should be smushing back and forth. I like to use a popsicle stick too because if you use a popsicle stick you can get it to look a little better and get it look a little flatter. Um, but you should work the clay from both directions. Don't push, push it one way. You want to push it and pull it back both ways. Kind of almost like you're buttering a piece of toast or something. You know, buttering it one way and then buttering it the other way. And you can kind of change the direction as you're working. And this is going to smush the little pieces of clay together and make it nice and flat. Okay, so there we've got it all worked back together. Okay, and that should work now. Yep, still works. So, in order to do that, then we're going to have the next section is making the holes for the sound. Okay, remember the important things that you need to make your whistle work are number one, the air hole on the inside, number two, a clean passage for the air to come in, and number three, 45 degree angle to cut the air which actually ends up then making the sound. Okay?